Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to take a look at the control boards, both hover and non-hover, uh, for the SEMA X8. Now, one of the things I ended up uh, picking up uh, this, this little guy, uh, the SEMA X5HW, so H stands for hover. So I tell you what, this has been a great flying quadcopter because, especially for me as a newbie, it hovers, and so I don't have to worry about constantly jockeying the throttle um, of it. Now, when I go to fly the X8, you know, which is the C-series, and you guys have seen that in uh, other videos, I, I always got to jockey. I got to spend time with the throttle and, you know, versus trying to learn how to fly it. And, and really, it's sort of a pain, especially for a video platform. You know, if you kind of want to race it around, make it go up and down, that that's great. But... The name of this channel is Video Drone. It's the, about how to, you know, um, do videos on a drone. So uh, it's not the best for that. So one of the the recommendations, if you want to get into video for a drone, go with one that at least has hover on it, because um, you can get away with it not having GPS at least in the initial stages. I'm definitely going to upgrade to a GPS style bird here in the near future but um, you know when you listen to guys like quadcopter 101 you know they really mention learning how to fly at first because you know once the computer goes haywire man you're you're left having to fly it and not only is there the investment that you have to recover but it's also the health and safety too because you're flying over cars vehicles homes possibly all these things and and you should be able to be able to fly it uh, without the computer at least that's my two cents so that's what I'm doing so, but anyways, I want to get and take a look at this uh, first. So, what I did is I purchased one of the standard boards uh, when I bought the bought the um, uh, X8, and this is the board here. Now, one of the things to notice, this white spot here in the middle uh, is empty. And again, I'll zoom in, or I have zoomed in, and uh, this is where the barometer typically goes. And so, what I want to do is I'm going to open up this bag. I went to eBay. Now, I should probably talk a little bit about, about my logic here. So, um, when I bought the, uh, you know, XC, I got a really good price on it, and that's why I decided to, you know, experiment with it, in other words. So, now when I go back and I look at the, the uh, hover series of the X8, you know, you can buy uh, just the bird for around 57 to 60 bucks on like Banggood or Gearbest or something like that. Then you got to buy the controller. That's another, you know, 20 some 30 bucks. And so you're up around 80 or so bucks. And, and I didn't want to invest another 80 or so bucks and have yet another drone. Uh, so what I decided to do is I picked up this board. It was about $12 off of eBay from China. And then I bought a controller, which is about $23. So I'm going to be into this about $35 to make the conversion to hover mode for um, my uh, XC, you know, X8C series uh, copter. So I thought that was pretty good. And, and so with that, what I want to point out here is actually this, this centerpiece where the barometer is because that's how these hoverboards for these cheaper quads work is they actually use a barometer so they're very use very sensitive air pressure measurements and probably some an algorithm in the um, multi -pro the processor unit on board to do the calculations of the altitude and to do automatic adjustment and so that's this little guy so I'll zoom in and so you can kind of see it everything else pretty much um, if I orientate it looks the same and you can kind of see on this on, on the non hover version um, it has all the pads for it now I don't know if if you could figure out uh, this if you got one and soldered it on here if it would actually work I'm thinking probably not I'm thinking the firmware is probably going to be different between these two boards. I don't know that for a fact. That's simply a guess. If somebody out there knows it, hey, let me know below. Also, if you know about this barometric module, uh, also let me know in the comments below because I would be happy to, you know, go out and buy these and just solder it onto my other boards and have a control unit. Now, I've ordered uh, another uh, transmitter because like the, the 5 series, um, let me get this to sit here for a second. So if I get the 5 series, the one thing of the stick has the return. 
for the hover. So you basically, you know, lift it up, you give it throttle where you want, and you just let it go. Whereas the the stock X8, the stick works like this. So I want the stick now. I understand some people that have made the board modification say it will work with this. If you return it back to center, I don't know. I may give it a try while I'm waiting for it because I've gotten the board, but I haven't gotten the uh, uh, transmitter yet. So when I get that in, I'll let you guys know. Uh, and Maybe I'll give it a try with the other one because I am going to, in the next couple days, do a video on the installation of this. Now, it shouldn't be too hard because... Um, you know, again, it just has all the the same pieces um, as this, because it also does come with the uh, the uh, little uh, auxiliary board for the camera and the on-off switch, and uh, all the plugs look the same. Like I say, it all appears to be the same board, and just you know have to solder around your motors and then plug in your LEDs, and you should be good to go, and uh, should have hover mode on the X8, which I think will really improve it. And that would be my one big recommendation. If, if you're looking to do some form of video on the X8, get the hover version. No questions about it. Um, it, it. Far better opportunity because one of the things is you're not having to worry about the throttle. You can focus more time on composing the uh, actual image. So, again, I think that's a pretty cool thing. And, and so hopefully you found this interesting, seeing the difference between the non-hoverboard and the hoverboard. Uh, and so, you know, again, I'll have links for, for all this below where I got the transmitter, where I got the hoverboard. So maybe you want to make the modification to your existing uh, X8. Very affordable, uh, relatively easy to do if you know how to use the soldering iron. The links will be down below so you can make the modification. So uh, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.